Facts First presents Bullied teen has her own prom and is escorted by 120 bikers. For most kids, prom is the highlight of their high school career. The girls get dressed up in beautiful dresses and the boys get dressed up in classy tuxes. There are pre-prom parties, post-prom parties, and lots of fun and dancing. Most students start looking forward to prom as soon as they reach high school. There are some students, though, who dread the idea of going to the prom because of the bullying that they need to deal with every single day. This is the story of when a bullied teen doesn't dare go to school prom. Then, 120 bikers knock on her door. Shannon Percifer is a 16-year-old girl from Hampshire, England. She chose not to go to the prom due to the bullying that she faces in school every day. She suffers from rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, and ulcerative colitis. She originally planned to go to the prom and she bought a gorgeous white dress with a beautiful tiara. On the big day, Shannon decided, though, to stay home. Shannon's mother, Claire Karstens, was very upset about the situation and her heart was breaking for her daughter. She created a post on Facebook about the incident that read, if Shannon had gone to prom tonight, she would have worn this beautiful dress. Thanks to nasty, vile bullies, Shannon decided she did not want to go and mix with scum that made her so miserable. For a girl that has had so much to deal with in life, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, and rheumatoid arthritis, she is one strong young lady with an even stronger mind. Love you, girl. But Claire was tired of her daughter being bullied these awful people had no idea what Shannon went through. They knew that she was often hospitalized and sometimes for weeks at a time, but this just made the bullying worse. Claire couldn't figure out how being sick and hospitalized became a reason to bully a beautiful young girl. It wasn't long before Claire's Facebook post went viral. As soon as people heard about what Shannon was going through, they started a fund. The idea was to create a special prom specifically for Shannon where she, her friends, and acquaintances who didn't bully her could celebrate with her. While they were raising the money, Claire mentioned that she wasn't trying to badmouth the school, however, they should have been doing something to stop the bullying before it kept a young girl from enjoying her prom. Well, finally, the big night came. Strangers arrived at Shannon's house to do her hair, makeup, and nails. Shannon's special prom was held at St. Vincent College, and it was a huge success. It wasn't just a few friends who attended the prom, either. There were almost as many people at Shannon's prom as the actual school prom. There were about 100 people there. Many of her friends attended, and even some strangers. People from all over wanted to attend Shannon's prom to show her love and support. The prom was decorated with lights and there was a disco ball on the ceiling. There was a delicious buffet and dancing all night long. The prom itself wasn't the greatest part of Shannon's evening. When she was at home getting ready for her big night, she heard a thundering sound heading toward her house. When she went outside, she saw 120 bikers in front of her house. They were all from a local motorcycle club called Ghostport Scooter Club. They heard about everything that Shannon had gone through at school and how bullies had kept her from going to her school's prom. Well, they wanted the bullies to see that Shannon had 120 great and slightly scary-looking guys on her side. They wanted people to see that there were people out there who cared for her and wanted to give her a great day. The bikers waited outside of Shannon's house until she was ready to go, and they gave her an escort to the prom. One of the bikers who rode a three-wheeled bike gave Shannon a ride to the prom. When she got there, she was welcomed at the door by her boyfriend and her closest friends. When she went inside, she couldn't believe how many strangers had come out to support her. According to Shannon, it was the greatest night of her life. Subscribe for more!